Hi, everybody. Hi. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm always like, what energy is it going to give today? And it's like, how kooky, how like... <laughs> What Let's do you get want? Into it. Oh my god, I don't have any chapstick on. Fuck. It's too much. Trying to be everyone. Yeah. Everything is too much. For it me. really is. We have a photo shoot later today. I was thinking about that too. It's like a cardinal sin to be black with like to be black and dry. You know? Mm. Whether it's like lips. Yeah. Knuckles. I know my face is gonna be, you know, kills the fuck out, girl. I use kills. No more gatekeeping. We wanna get these fucking sponsors. We're not gatekeeping anymore, okay? If you're listening or if you're watching this, bitch, I use Kiehl's. And guess what? Kiehl's is going to kill your fucking pocket. But the shit works, okay? All right, great. Was that a sponsorship? Was that, it, it was. Was that good? So now they're supposed to pay us? Is that how that works? No, they're probably going to send us some uh, those a, little ketchup. A cease and desist? <laughs> those, those little ketchup size um, fucking samples. I used to get so irritated with those, but now I'm just like... <laughs> They work because when you when you travel and you don't want to bring yes. your, your big bottles because I normally get the big size bottle that doesn't go into the carry on. And long story short, I've learned the hard way. I've had to throw out cologne. I've had to throw out face wash because it was all too big. Yeah. But yeah. with those kills ketchup packets, they be giving you little sample size packets, little squirt squirts. First of all, the product goes a long ways. Yes. Two, you can pack everything you need and then you're good. What are you using your face? Kills. Kills. Ah! Kills, send yeah, us kills. Some hey girl, kills the, we're us. down for you. Be down with us. Honestly, girl, we can, we can get into how I've been paying for Kills. It's another branded sponsorship, but Kills is expensive, and you can really like, if you want to get it all and not have to keep going back, it lasts a long time. But you it does. Like it goes a long some. way. We are here at Lounge Studios. Our yes. First time. Big shout out to Lounge Studios. We in a little Vern room. The little, little Vern. Little Vern room. We'll give you some like some pictures and clips of that. Yeah. If you're watching the show, of course, we hope you are, of where you can also come in, record your own podcast. Um, Lounge Studio also has a live studio. I believe they said her recorded here. Mariah's recorded here. Solange. Solange is recorded here. Ava Rain's recorded here. They got a motherfucking piano. They got a soundboard. They got all types of stuff. And they yeah. have two floors, including a... Photography studio? Yes. Yeah, they have that. They have it all, they really. It all. And it's right in the heart of... Midtown, and yeah, the prices are reasonable too. We'll put a link in the description below if you want to do your artsy girl things here. Check it out. Yeah, girl, be your creative self at Lounge Studios. You asked me how I was doing. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Yes, it is um, the weekend. We don't normally record on the weekends. We just got into that, but I've been really getting into my stay-at-home bag before these nights of recording and i woke up this morning i felt okay it was like it was rest but you know if i don't wake up groggy and out of it and like completely like i need to feel like i almost died right but not like, in pain. like you like, are so <laughs> deep in asleep it's like bitch yeah. did i die like i'm so startled by like the fact that i woke up no and i don't know what i'm alive <laughs> I want to be so close to dead. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I feel so rested <laughs> that I almost died now. I feel like part of that, too, is like, is the sun out? Yeah. Because if the sun is out, it just gives you that extra, like, yeah. burst of energy. But part of why I asked, too, is because I'm going to sing you a song. Okay. Are you Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna sing well, you. I have to be here, <laughs> <laughs> and you know me. I was gonna fucking do it anyway. I know, like the door's already shut. It's not, I'm gonna hurt myself trying to get away. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because, the, you know, there's the saying. This is the bad one, but like, if you lay around with dogs, let's not do that one. If you stay in the barbershop, you mm -hmm. don't know that one. If you lay around with dogs, eventually you'll get fleas. I've heard this before. If you sit around in a barbershop, eventually you'll get a haircut. If you hang around the girls who smoke a lot of weed, you go smoke a lot of weed. These are sayings. 
that one's not a saying. Okay. That's just my life, right. which inspired the song that I'm about to sing. Okay. Is this one that you wrote yourself? It is. Okay, now I'm more interested. Okay, you ready? Okay. You can't smoke weed every day. No good, no good, no good. A once in a while, a now and again. Mo good, mo good, mo good. But what could be better than nothing at all? Don't smoke weed every day. That's it. Why do I feel so attacked? <laughs> <laughs> She's attacking me. <laughs> That trash is no good. No good. Now we're going to do the drugs rendition. <laughs> A five, six, seven, eight. You can't do drugs every day. Did you, how long, did you write that today? I wrote that a couple nights ago on the way home, inebriated. I like it. It smells good. I actually like it. I do. With, and I started to realize, you know, because I really do find cannabis to be therapeutic. It helps me be creative sometimes sometimes it unlocks a lot of emotions that may yeah. have been like i think that there are benefits socially yeah emotionally health wise but honey i can't do it every day <laughs> <laughs> whenever you get too high i feel like you go into this amoeba stage where you're just like i don't know where i'm at where i'm going what i'm doing whatever i'm here and I'm here. <laughs> i know i'm already like a little ditzy already <laughs> like i know that i'm not dumb but sometimes <laughs> I'm I'm like spacey. I'm spaced out. Like my head is a little in the clouds. Very Pisces. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I've accepted it. Yeah. But listen, if there's not a fire and you're not trying to save nobody's life, don't endanger yourself, girl. Just be like, you know, you're at least you're here. I guess. Yeah. I was here. I live. I, live. I was gonna sing a little song too, but I guess I won't be singing alone. Okay. <laughs> You can have your moment. Have your I don't, moment. I don't need a moment. It's time for our question of the day. Let's do it. Um, I had a few questions, but yeah. because this is like the holiday episode, what's the one dish that you pass over at the family Thanksgiving, the Friendsgiving, the work function? What's one dish in particular you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not having that no matter what? Especially, and keep in mind, Outside of your home, you're, you know, back in Maryland where your family is, not where you're from. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You Period. know, outside of your own home, people tend to not eat outside of their own mom's kitchen, their own kitchen. So what's the one dish? Keep that in mind. What's the one dish? Even at the, like, the work function, you're like, girl, I just don't trust. I don't trust that. Oh, we talking about a work function? We're, We're talking, talking about, about all the functions. All the holiday functions you can possibly go to. What is the one staple dish that you're like, I am not about that? I can go first if you want to have some time. You you go first because this actually reminded me of something very funny. Well, I think the one dish for me, I've I've told you about my like, uh, I do not like the texture of eggs yeah. or marshmallow <laughs> yes. or yes. soft things that are like avocado by itself. I give it up for the girls. Healthy fat, not for me unless you got some fucking onions, some in it yeah so yeah. i will not be having double eggs i see <gasps> that people bring them to the functions and i love it and it looks so good it yeah. almost has the same exact like allure um as shrimp have for me before i realized i didn't have a shellfish allergy but like if you bring double eggs anywhere i'm gonna look at you sideways and you're like oh have you tried the double eggs <laughs> fuck no fuck no beth <laughs> why'd you bring them bitch this <laughs> I'm not like that, but I'm not going to eat it. Oh, my God. The labor of love that Beth put into, like, slicing those eggs, splitting the yolks out of it, mashing them up, seasoning them. You're not going to eat her double eggs. And what is that red seasoning? That's the allure. It's paprika. That's it? I can't remember the recipe. I've made double eggs before. Really? People ate them up, huh? <laughs> People ate them up. Oh, my God. They just look so delectable. It's, it's such a, like, fufu... <laughs> Just except, like, yeah, the most foo foo way of preparing eggs. I'm more, ever. I because I'm afraid, like, the double eggs. I don't know, I'm afraid that, like, it might, I might get something, or I might, like, I don't know, eggs sitting out. Meanwhile, I've showed up to like a party before, like, really late, and like had a bunch of the shrimp that I'm like, shouldn't these be, be on ice? But I'm like, nom, nom, nom. I'm, like <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get diarrhea. No, um, so yeah, eat it anyway. That's uh, one of one, my questions now. 
What's one food that you don't eat? Well, it's fun. I- this is me, bitch. I'm not about to answer your question, just so you know ahead of time. So it reminded me, though, of <laughs> there was this news article about this, like, entire office of people who got sick, who got food poisoning from eating somebody's homemade food. Yeah. there's That's why I don't eat people's things. I don't. Because some people even <laughs> tell they, like, let, like, their cat walk over the entire like everything and i just think that's gross the one thing i do love about dogs i know that people say they're needy the dog isn't normally a normal dog isn't like walking around your countertops sitting on top of your refrigerator like walking on top of your stove that's true i don't know kind of but like, the cats normally stay in the house okay and i'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now no one has a clean home fair not clean enough to where like the animals paws <laughs> to be extra scrutiny you're right the, yeah the house is already dirty i did someone other whose cat would like <clears throat> go up and have a little something to eat out of the pot granted the pot should have been covered but you can't do everything he would just go up and get a little like a little like little taste and he'd be like i can't say his name but he'd be like shoo shoo don't do that i'm like yo i would throw your cat out of the window if he kept doing <laughs> <laughs> I, I i do not support animal abuse or cruelty just gonna put that out there in case y'all wanna sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love animals. We never harm anyone. Yeah. But keep your cat off the stove. Keep your dog off the stove. Wash your hands before you cook food. You, yeah. What's what's a food you won't have? Um, <laughs> if I see a cranberry, bitch is giving skit. Yeah. Cause why'd you do that? A cranberry out of the can? Like cranberries. Oh, you know what? That is one that I tend to skip. Cranberry sauce? Yeah. What is what it? What is that? Why is it a part of a state? What is a staple? Like what well, people that like, okay, you can't put stuffing inside of a turkey. The stuffing turkey ratio, like I prefer the like stuffing to be made without the turkey. Use a turkey I agree. juice. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to be stuffing things inside. We're getting into a whole like I I'm know. getting so fucking hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like that was my question of the day. Yeah, cranberry sauce. Did you is I'm that, good, that, good, is that the dish that you you never said the dish you won't eat? If we're at a, a work, it's, yeah, it's I'm not eating. Them. I don't need to eat nobody's. It's all of them. It's all of them, isn't it? <laughs> well, I do have this strange suspicion that, like, what if somebody decided they just wanted to be, you know, Dylan Roof via their their kitchen and just take us all out the game by poisoning the food? Oh my god! It goes through my mind. I don't know <laughs> what why. You know what I mean? You, when everyone else is worried about being sick, you take it a step farther. Like, what if someone's out to kill us all? Jesus Christ. People, people be disgruntled <laughs> and they take it out on all the wrong people. I'm like, With, I can you truly, imagine? Like, I'll, at the end of the party, they're just like, well, I quit. And you're like, but I just ate all your food. What the fuck you mean? You brought this food here on your own. Like, no, no. Okay, fine. Anyway, yeah, you can't eat um, everybody's cooking. So, do you want to play a game? I have a game. I have a game. Okay, you go first. All right, have you ever played Mind Meld? No. Okay, so basically the idea is for us to meld our minds together Mm -hmm. and say the same word at the same time out loud. Mine's a little warped, but all right. (laughs) So (laughs) it's basically you're trying to think about what word I'm going to say, and I'm trying to think about what word you would say, and we just say it at the same time. Oh, okay, so it's really easy. Yeah, and then based on that word, if it's not the same, then we try again. Okay. So I'm gonna count down from three. Okay. Three, two, one. Say the word. Oh, is it gonna be any like context? Or we just say the nope. word. No, whatever word is on your mind. Okay. Three, two, one. Podcast. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know. Okay. You don't even think of any word. Okay. All right. Do you want to try again? Let's let's try again. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Jeez. Blanket. I don't think you understand how the game is supposed to go. <laughs> how would I have guessed blanket after smegma? How am I supposed to guess anything after the number three? I just literally draw a blank. I'm like, first word that comes to your mind. I was like, blanket. All right. Um, so maybe... The next one should be like associated with a word, a blanket. Yeah. Oh, that's how it works. Yeah. Like yeah. we're supposed to try and oh. get okay, to I the got same okay. word. Okay. All right. 
Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. She. Baby. Okay. <laughs> now who's now who's feeling away? <laughs> it's you. <laughs> the look you gave me, and how am I supposed to get? <laughs> how did we get baby from blanket? Smegma was crazy. <clears throat> you didn't tell me the real rules of the game until number I, three. I did my best. I'm not an educator. Do you want to go one more time? Yeah, let's do one more time. Okay, that's it. Three, two, one. Bed. I forgot to speak. <laughs> All right, All that right. was that was mind meld. Okay, what's the opposite of meld? I don't know. Brain though. detach. You ready to play my game? Yeah. What's your game? Okay, here we go. My game is called Name That '90s Sitcom Mom. Oh you, no! I, I'm gonna show you pictures. This is gonna be so embarrassing. I'm gonna sh no. It's not. It you is. You should me. do well. Because if you don't, then people are gonna not like you anymore. I know. They already don't like me. Oh no, people love you. I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about you. I know, actually I don't like the girls. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You only get five seconds. No, you get three seconds. Okay. Am name I naming the actor or the, the name of the character? The name of the character. The actor is probably gonna be even harder for you, to be honest with you. All right, you ready? This is an easy one. Oh my god! Okay, three, two, one. One, two. The, the Rugrats mom. Um, three. Fuck. That's not her name. No, it's um, um. Mm -mm, I don't have it. And it's Dee Dee Pickles. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Remember Dee Dee? Yes, do. Why do I remember the man? Mm, what was his job? His job? Yeah. He was an inventor. Yeah, it was giving unemployed though in the basement. It was. Yeah. Who she was, was probably carrying. He never had any gadgets that made sense. No. Yeah. He was always failing. And because of that basement issue, the babies were just running amok around the house. They, huh? they, were, <laughs> <laughs> they were. Those children were never Mother, supervised. How, how your son got a whole screwdriver in his purse? Pamper. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't Damn. miss these kids getting out of this Rugrat uh, situation. I'm so mad because Rugrats was actually one of my favorite shows as a child. All right, I'm gonna put another picture up. You ready? No. This one, okay. Well, this one might be a little bit too hard. Let's slow down. Slow down. Have you known that he's he is a liar, as you say? Well, absolutely. He Why did you work for him, Savannah? Slow down. Would she say, "You can't smoke weed every day"? <laughs> You ready? Mom number two. All right. One. Cosby. Um, nope, she doesn't have it. Nothing? Mm -mm. Do you want the phone a friend? It's Cosby, but I don't remember her the, name. Okay. That's the name of the show. But oh, Huxtable. Huxtable. Okay, that's... Um, <clears throat> This is this is really bad. You're not really black, are you? What is have black? You, have you? It's well, it's being able to name this fucking character. <laughs> I, obviously, I know who this is. You do. I'm I'm bad with names. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm bad with. Have names. Have you seen this show before? Cliff, Rudy, Theo. Okay, so um, not that bad. Yeah, I just wait. Do you know the dad's name? Claire. Claire. <laughs> Here we go, yes. And you did that without fucking, you did that without clues too. Ha, oh, Lord. All right, that was a good one. You got that one right. Woo, shit. Things are about to get harder for you. Okay? Things are about to get sadder for us. <laughs> Here we go, next mom. This Aunt Viv. Okay. That wasn't hard for you. Yeah. You know what, Viv? Was this number one or is it number two? This is number one. This is the classic OG, like, beloved yeah. Aunt Viv. I, wow, I, what a fierce picture. I know, right? I kind of, she had like a storyline. We can't, I can't, why did yeah. she leave? Why, why did she leave the show? I actually don't remember. I, I think that I saw a clip. I think that her and Will Smith were not getting along. 
They weren't, yeah. certainly. <clears throat> and they had that like. And I remember an interview she did where she was, I think, very harsh for him, like on him for not advocating more for her. But I don't know. I- I'm sure it was a. The entertainment industry is so messy. I'm it's sure so it was like a tricky situation because he's also Will Smith, but yeah. he's young. Yeah. He's <clears throat> new, like relatively he's, new. Yeah. I don't know. I Seems think to be a little bit all over the place as a young person. Uh, this also brings it to what was I going to say? Um, remember that episode? Did you watch Family Manners? A little, yeah. Remember the episode when the daughter or like the sister who was sp- staying at the house with the family. Remember she had a daughter and a son? One episode, the daughter went upstairs at the end of the season and she never came back. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't notice that until years later. Did they ever like close that no. storyline? No, she just, just went upstairs to go to sleep and they were like, that's it, girl. Okay, here we go. Here's the last one, all right? Okay. This one might be the hardest one for you. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> It's funny because I know that that's Jackie Harry. Yeah. Her name is Jackie. I don't know her last name. Yeah. Um, is this, is this, is this Urkel? No. I, I don't know this. I don't Do know. Do you want a hint? Because this is going to be the, this supposed to be the hardest one. I'm not going to know her name. That's the thing. But what's that? You hint? might, if you watch any of the episodes, this is. Tia and Tamara's mom. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Duh. And she was a designer on the show. And she always tried to sell her fashions. And her her name, literally, it's like a one of those things that you have to say with the whole thing. Miss Lisa. Lisa. Mallory. Lisa Landry. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> Miss Lisa Landry. Wow. Lisa Landry. Remember, she was like a little bit like, I have to go. <laughs> get your black ass out. No. Black ass. No, get your ass out and find your black. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, if you're watching at home, I hope that you remind, remember your favorite 90s uh, sitcoms and maybe toss those on this holiday season. Yeah. Support black. Yeah, support black support actresses black. and actors. Actors, um, do we have? We have quite an episode for the for the girls, right? We do. And speaking of girls, this is the episode where we talk about some of the queens, the queens of, of controversy, con- controversy, controversy, controversy. Because what's a queen without a little controversy, right? How could you be a queen if you ain't? Shaking a table. Yeah. Ruffling feathers. Especially if you're on television. Shaking a table. Bring it down, cause my head will start spinning. I chop on your trick. Try it. Try it. Try it. F- with me if you want to. It's not a good day. Okay? Now this back to the one. Shaking the table. Do you want to talk about some of these queens? Who we got on our list today? Yeah, let's let me pull up. Let me pull up. I think the first one I want to talk about is Tyra. Okay. Thank you for watching another episode of Just Press Play with L and Trey. If you enjoyed this episode, drop us a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And next week, we're counting down our top queens of controversy. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>